This is a review for Dish Networks' sling adapter for the HD DVRs, such as 722, which is the one I have. The sling adapter is $100 and you can buy it off of the Dish Networks website. The app is available for, for both Android and iPhone and iPad. It's a free app. I'll open it now. As you can see, it is not a perfect app. It just did not open, so I'll have to open it again. There we go, it says it is connecting. I am running on my HTC Evo from Sprint. I'm running off of Wi-Fi. It does not work very well off of 3G. There it is, it's giving me another error, but it just worked through it. Most of the time I have to close it and reopen it. So this right here is showing everything I have on my DVR. I can scroll through and it has everything. You can either have it categorized by title or by date. If you want to watch something, we'll watch Glee, just click on it. And it has all three episodes that I have right there. So I'll click on the top one. I click watch. I can either watch it on this device or I can watch it on my TV. It'll play it on either one. So we'll just click on this device. Then it gives me a connection failed. This is very typical. So I have to close it, exit out the app completely, sign back in, and hope it works this time. This is, I just recently downloaded the latest update for this app, which came out this week. It is May 26, 2011. The app has been around for six months, and it is far from perfect. So we'll see, we'll go back down to Glee, see, it'll let, see if it'll let us open it this time. Nope, it will not let me open it. If I try back in a half hour or so, it will probably let me do it. We'll try a different show. Try watching the news. See, it didn't work that time. Alright, there it is. We are now watching Jay Leno after trying for about 10 minutes. As you see here across the bottom, it gives you all your controls as if it was as if it were your DVR. You can pause it, skip forward, fast forward, rewind, and so on. On the left hand side, if you want to go to these controls, your options are zoom in, zoom out, you can go to live, you can go to guide, you can change the quality to high quality or low quality. Like I said, I am running off of Wi-Fi. The high quality is is okay for a phone. It's nowhere near as good as Netflix is, which I would compare it to. But it, it's good because it's a free app, so we'll click play. Now if we want, we can push pause. We'll push play, and it'll start back up after a few seconds. As you can see, it's not really responsive. If you want to fast forward, play as you can see it takes a very long time so it is it's far from ideal if you want to watch anything that is off your DVR that you plan on fast forwarding if you're watching live TV it's okay because you don't ever have to plan on fast forwarding or rewinding or anything like that you're just gonna watch it live so you don't get the frustrations of trying to fast forward or anything so as you can see there that's the DVR so we'll go back now this is just showing me what I was watching so I can click menu click on guide and that's everything that as if it if as if I were on my TV this is everything and so let's click on something we can watch let's go to a sport see if it works ESPN NBA countdown we'll click on it we can either record it or we can watch it we'll click watch you 
see connection failed it is a very finicky app it has a long ways to go if it does work we'll see if I can get it to work here there we go we finally got it to work this is live TV so it, it's decent quality you can also if you want you can go up to the controls you can pause the live TV When the timer starts, you can see how far behind you are. You know, you can push play again. You can see it takes a very long time. But there you go. And that is the app. So the, the pros of the app is that it is a free app. The cons are you have to pay $100 for the Slingbox adapter. Another con is it, it will not work for me over 3G. The quality is so poor and half the time it kicks me off. Um, so you have to be under Wi-Fi and it lags a lot. And so it's very frustrating if you want to watch anything that has been recorded because there's a lot of fast forwarding and rewinding, you might as well watch the commercials. Um, my favorite part about this is that the sling box, the adapter, it is re you can return it within 30 days, which I plan on doing. And so I would not recommend this app to anybody who plans on watching TV or anything off your DVR. If you plan on watching live TV, it is pretty flawless that way. But other than that, I would not recommend it.